All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to today's celebration. Thank you for coming out this afternoon. My name is Lance McGarvey, and of course, it's my great pleasure to be the public address announcer for U of L men's basketball. It's also a tremendous honor to be here today for this dedication. Now, we were here, uh, many of us, 18 months ago for the groundbreaking uh, and are thrilled to be back here to see the building come to life with students actually moved in and again uh, today for this dedication. This project does demonstrate the true partnership between athletics and the university, providing housing and services for student athletes and sports management students. It also celebrates the legacy of Coach Crum and his contributions not only to Cardinal Athletics, but to the University of Louisville and the city as a whole. Now, as the men's basketball coach for 30 years, Coach Crum led Louisville to six Final Fours and two national championships. Absolutely. He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame in 1994. After his retirement, Coach Crum continued to work with the university. The center court, of course, at the Yum Center is named in his honor. And since 2001, the Denny Crum Scholarship Foundation and Denny Crum Scholarship Fund have awarded over a million dollars, benefiting more than 400 students. That deserves a huge round of applause. Now, let's get started. Please welcome Interim President of the University, Dr. Lori Gonzalez. Hello. Advice for you in public speaking, you never follow the voice of the Cardinals, all right? So bear with me as I try to do my own version of public speaking. Welcome to this wonderful venue on this beautiful day to celebrate Coach Crum and his legacy. It was wonderful to see his former players up here being able to say hello again and thank him for all they did for them as they were players. We know what he means to the university athletics program and we know what he means to the university basketball, but he also means so much to us here at U of L. Every Cardinal fan is familiar with all his accolades, national championships, final forward appearances, and induction into the Bas Basketball Hall of Fame. But he's much more than those awards and accomplishments that happen on the hardwood. He's also a husband, a father, a mentor, and a role model. And he's been more to his players than just a coach. He taught them how to find success on and off the court, to conduct themselves with dignity and integrity and class, and how to be productive and caring members of the community. Coach Crum has also been such an ambassador for our university. He's represented U of L at events and gatherings, not just in Louisville, but across the state and frankly across the country. For many years and to many people, Denny Crum has been the face of the University of Louisville, and we couldn't be more proud of that fact. We're proud of all the work he's done through his foundation and his scholarship, as Lance mentioned. That work has changed the lives of so many students who've received support from the scholarship fund. Well, it's really appropriate that we stop here today to celebrate his legacy by naming this beautiful residence hall in his honor. It represents the continued investment and expansion of our campus and our students' community. It, those were both causes important to Coach Crum. I want to thank Ellen N. Federal Credit Union, Buffalo Construction, and all of the other vendors for making this a success and getting us to this point. I want to thank our athletics department, student affairs, and housing for making this come to fruition and making this hall a reality. And most of all, I want to thank Coach Crum and his wife Susan for being here today and teaching all of us what it means to be Cardinals for life. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Dr. Gonzalez. Now, please join me in welcoming the Athletics Director of the University of Louisville, Mr. Josh Hurd. Oh, this is, uh, this is really, this is really cool. I don't, I'm not like the, like, rah-rah guy, but I'm really excited right now with 
seeing who's in this crowd. I mean, this is a little overwhelming to see who showed up to pay tribute to this man right here. And the other thing that's really, really exciting to me is this is what the Cardinal family is supposed to feel like. Not everybody in the crowd played for Coach Crum here, but they know they're part of the Cardinal family, and they're part of his family. So once again, thank you for everybody out there. Uh, I tend to save my thank yous for the end, but today let me start with a thank you so we can save the best for last and end with a few comments about Coach. I'm going to use a sports analogy here, but this was, the defini this was the definition of a true team effort. There were so many people involved who made this project come to life. So while I'm only mentioning a handful of names, this list should be much longer. Let me start with uh, former athletic director Vince Tyre. Uh, we were texting last night, and unfortunately, uh, he's, he's doing some things with his, with his new job. Uh, but he wanted to be here, and he wanted to be here, one, uh, to see everybody in the crowd, but two, this was really his idea, uh, this public-private partnership, and, and he really wanted to see it come to life. So I told him, whenever he wants to be here, we can show him around. So, uh, Vince, thank you for everything. Uh, my U of L colleagues, Dean Martis, uh, Dan Durbin, I don't think Dan, I think Dan's moving his daughter. Uh, Tom Hardy, there's, there's Tom. Uh, Mike Materna, thank you. Uh, a few members of my staff, Michael Ortman, uh, he's worked tirelessly to, to get this, help get this thing completed. And then a lot of you know Michael Dudas. Uh, Michael, thank you to you and your team for uh, helping fundraise for this project to make it what it is. Uh, Buffalo Construction, uh, raise your hand if you're, if you're here with Buffalo. Uh, Jamie, Scott, Scott's not with us, Brett, uh, Lindsay, Eric, thank you so much. Uh, you guys, every time we call on you, you, you guys deliver, so thank you. Uh, IPA, uh, where's, where's Larry? I was going to say somewhere in the back. Uh, and Roger uh, and Galen, uh, thank you for all of your investment here. Uh, and then just a, a few people that have been very influential in making this thing come to life. Isaac and Carrie Rotes. Uh, Isaac and Carrie, real quick. Uh, oh, there they are. I thought they might be upstairs. Uh, their, their daughter's, oh, she's here, uh, actually living here. So uh, did it turn out okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so thank you for your investment. Uh, Chris Brown, Ellen and Federal Credit Union. I don't believe Chris is with us, but everything he does for this program. Uh, and then Junior Bridgman, thank you for everything here. Uh, his one request uh, was to make sure that we could showcase all 30 teams that Denny coached. So we're in the process of getting that done, and, and we'll have it completed here sooner than later. So it'll be an opportunity for anybody that played on those teams or didn't to come in and really see what those 30 years was all about with, with Denny at the helm. What makes this building so special for our campus? Denny Crum Hall represents a first-in-class residence hall. I would argue that no other university has put as much energy and attention to an on-campus residence hall as the University of Louisville. It combines best-in-class luxury student housing from a developer with 30 years, 30 plus years of Class A apartment experience and nearly 20 years of Class A student housing and design construction experience. The building was designed to meet Green Globe certification criteria for environmental excellence. In addition, the university has designated Denny Crum Hall a living, learning community to bolster its programs in sports management and other programs that involve athletic excellence from a business and operations standpoint. With the LLC including many athletes in action, it offers unparalleled opportunities for athletes and students to work together to innovate in their respective fields. Most importantly, Denny Crum Hall will further enhance the University of Louisville student experience, helping to build lifelong friendships and truly memorable experiences. When you have something named in your honor, it tends to commemorate the years of service you've dedicated towards something bigger than yourself. And while I'm not sure we could have built a building big enough or nice enough to show our gratitude for all that Denny has given to the UofL community, we tried. Each day, Coach Crum had the opportunity and the unique ability to impact lives, help families, serve as a compass to navigate difficult situations, and provide encouragement and advice for those seeking his counsel and expertise. And along the way, he won 675 basketball games with two of those providing national championship trophies to the University of Louisville. I wanted to take a moment to highlight some of his incredible, incredible accomplishments which helped elevate the University of Louisville to become the nation's premier basketball program. 
As I read the list, it will further reinforce just how special Coach Crum was to our community. He was the head coach for 30 years, 1971 to 2001. He was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1994. He's one of 14 coaches in NCAA history to win two or more national championships in 1980 and 1986. He coached Louisville to six Final Fours. There's only been five coaches who have ever, who have ever done that or more. He guided the Cardinals to 23 NCAA tournament appearances, 10th most all time. That sounds pretty good right now. It's been a few years, Coach. <laughs> He amassed a 675 and 295 career coaching record, including a 42 and 22 record in the NCAA tournament. And his impact wasn't finished when he stepped away from coaching. Some would say he was just getting started. Coach and Susan to this day are continuing to impact the Louisville community. They continue to serve as ambassadors for this university and this city. Most notably, the Denny Crum Scholarship Foundation and Denny Crum Scholarship Fund has awarded over a million dollars benefiting 400-plus student-athletes. I got that talking point as well. Uh, he's helped countless other charitable causes in the community. Susan, Denny, thank you. Please join me in a round of applause for Denny and his wife, Susan, as we celebrate the impact they had on our basketball program, our university, our community, thousands of former student-athletes and their families that had the privilege to call him coach. Now we're going to get to the uh, we're going to get to the good part here. We're going to have a few of his former student athletes, Roger Berkman and Daryl Griffith, say you, uh, say a few words about him. Thank you once again. See, I care. I brought notes. He didn't. I don't need notes. I'm good. I can speak from the heart. I did recognize that Roger was smart that when you get our age, instead of wearing glasses, you use number 24 font. <laughs> I learned that trick at the summit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not hard to talk about Coach Crum and what he means to this community and what he has meant to me as a player. I think most of the players in this audience and, and the community can echo it that, you know, his first, when he first set foot on his campus, we didn't really realize what kind of jewel that we had. From you former players, his first year, we went straight to the Final Four. And that was the encouragement that the community and the basketball program needed at that time, that we got a coach that is a pedigree of the greatest college basketball coach in the country, which is John Wooten. And it was immediately shown by him taking a, a team. Now, granted, you, you, you picked up some good company because Junior and these guys, they could ball. He had a great team he could pick up on and, uh, and, went, and, and went immediately to the Final Four. Uh, but the most important thing that Coach uh, has touched all of our former players is, is, is evident by all the former players that are here now. Uh, you know, Coach is, is he's University of Louisville. He's, he is the, the marquee, the trademark of our brand. And uh, he's done a great job in, in just doing so many great things in the community. Uh, he continues to be a, a person that you can uh, reach out to and touch. And, and, and he always, always will be gracious enough to give you his time. And that's what I learned uh, most about him. Uh, not when I played. I, I learned more about Coach when I was away from basketball, when we both worked here at the University of Louisville during the development uh, times. Uh, I learned a lot about Coach. I'm going to leave you with this story he told me that I didn't realize. Uh, the late, great Mr. Shaw was, uh, had a conversation with Coach Crum when we were in the uh, regional finals against LSU. And LSU had a lot of hoopla, and they had a, had a home brand named uh, Duran Macklin from, uh, from Louisville. He was on that team. And he told me that Mr. Shaw came up to him and said, well, Denny, you had a great year. I remember that story. <laughs> he said, you know, I don't think you can beat these guys, but I just want to tell you you had a great year. And Coach Crum told him, looked at him and said, are you kidding me? We'll beat these guys by 20. And that's what we beat them by, 20 points. <laughs> and we went to the final four. Never knew that story until he told me.
Thank you, guys, and I, I really appreciate you giving him some support because, you know, as players, we really, really love him, and the community really loves him. And this is, to me, this is, this is way overdue. It should, it should have been done, but thank God it's happening now. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Griff. Tell you what, um, playing at Louisville and having uh, – Senior leadership like Daryl Griffith and Tony Branch, those people, it, it doesn't get any better than that. So um, last Monday I was playing in a golf scramble, and Kenny Klein uh, gives me a call. So I'm sitting there looking at my phone, and I'm looking at this putt, and I'm going, yeah, okay, I answer, it's Kenny, right? Anybody else calling, I'm not going to answer. Now don't tell my wife I said that, okay? <laughs> All right? But, uh, of course, Kenny asked me if I would say a few words today, and, and, of course, I said, absolutely. So I go home that evening, and I tell Judy, my wife, I said, look, Kenny Klein called me today. He wants me to say a few words at this dedication for Coach. No big deal. And she said, think about that now. Think about the honor. What, what an honor that is to be asked to be here to say a few words, you know, because it doesn't get any better than this guy right here. Right? You know, sometimes I think we take people for granted, and I think Coach Crum is one of those. Uh, the reason I say that is because he's always been there for us over all these years. He's been there for all of us, for this university, and for this community. Uh, he's that humble guy that you would never know is a legendary superstar of a college basketball coach. He's that loyal, and let me repeat that, loyal friend that's so generous and kind to everyone, right? Well, maybe not the Memphis State fans because they were just rude, okay? <laughs> He's that person that um, always volunteered to do charity work for any charity in town. Um, he's that father figure, and you guys uh, that played for him will re remember these uh, little uh, reminders he would tell us after practice or whatever. He would say, make good decisions, right? And one of my favorite was, stop dinking around. <laughs> my kids have heard that their entire life. He's always been, without a blemish, a great role model and mentor for all of us. He's had such a positive impact on everybody's life that he's touched, especially mine. He's a person of high character, good morals and values. In four years of playing at the University of Louisville for Coach Crum, I never heard him use a curse word, ever. And um, though we deserved it a few times, okay? <laughs> That's for sure, but that kind of gives you an insight on, on the type of character and, and the type of integrity that, that this man sitting right here has. And love you, Coach. You're the best. All right, without a doubt, one of the greatest coaches ever to coach the game. Uh, it's truly an honor and privilege to uh, have been asked. And Kenny, thank you for asking me to be here today. Uh, I know um, Coach is humbled by uh, the kind gesture of, of putting his name on this building. I know he would want to say uh, tell you all how grateful he is and uh, how blessed he was to have coached at the University of Louisville all those years. And the last thing that I know he would want to say is how much he loves this university, how much he loves our community, our, all of his former players, all of the fans, all of you here today, and especially his family. Coach Crum truly is a legend that we should never take for granted. Thank you, and go Cards. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Josh. Now, if our dignitaries could call, come up for the uh, ribbon cutting, we'll get that done now. All our dignitaries.
All right, thank you everyone for coming out on this historic day. Uh, we're going to be doing tours inside, so please do uh, head on in and take